what are the signs of a healthy relationship? Hello, beautiful people, and my name is Danny. I am the head coach for the Happily Committed Project, and if this is your first time visiting the channel, welcome. Make sure you're hitting that like and subscribe button, and if you are part of the community already, you've been part of the channel for quite some time, then welcome back. The reason why I wanted to talk about what the signs of a healthy relationship are is because I feel like we usually concentrate on the signs of an unhealthy relationship or when something has broken down, how to fix it, um, how to rekindle the spark in a relationship. But how do you know you're actually in a healthy relationship if you don't necessarily know the signs of a healthy relationship? So I kind of want to just bring it back to basics and cover the things that should be present within the relationship for you to identify it and say, oh wow, okay, I am in a healthy relationship. And even if there are some things that are missing, be careful, don't assume that you're in an unhealthy relationship just because some of these things may be off a little bit. Every relationship has its ups and downs. Every relationship has its things that may be potentially missing. It's about being consciously aware of them and then working on them together. So the first thing and the thing that I prioritize above most things is communication, being open and honest with your partner, being able to have discussions with them, being able to express your needs, your expectations, setting boundaries and doing all of those things and not being judged for it, not being criticized for it and being respected for your thoughts and your feelings because that is incredibly important, which actually segues me into number two, which is respect. Respect within the relationship. If you don't necessarily know what I mean by respect, it's your ability to look at your partner and accept them for who they are. Their ideologies, their mistakes, the way they process, their perspective, their mindset, all of those things. When you got into the relationship with this person, you got into the relationship because you were attracted to them, because you respected them, because you trusted them. And these are all fundamental elements for a healthy relationship. But respecting somebody means that you view them as your equal, not above you and not less than. If they're above you, you've put them on a pedestal. If they're below you, you don't respect them, you potentially belittle them, and it's not a recipe for a healthy relationship. So. Being equals in the relationship is very important. And again, that's also multifaceted. So being willing to sit down and have a conversation and resolve conflict and hear what your partner has to say and vice versa. Being okay with decisions that they make, even if you don't necessarily like them yourself, you respect their autonomy as an independent individual to be able to make those choices. Now, obviously, if those choices affect you and your core values, and that's something else, and that's a different conversation, but generally speaking, accepting them for them for who they are and, and being understanding of their decisions, even if you don't like it, but at least being able to, to agree to disagree. The third part is trust general trust, being able to feel like you can open up enough to this individual. Trust is, again, multifaceted in a relationship. So can you trust that they aren't going to cheat on you? Can you trust that they're going to be there for you in one of your, in your heart, in your darkest hour? Can you trust that they're going to stick to their word? Can you trust that you're going to be able to build a life with this person and they will be there to support you? It's not just about oh, I don't trust my partner because I'm afraid they're gonna cheat on me. Oftentimes, trust begins with your ability to be vulnerable with this person. How open can you be with them? How comfortable do you feel around them? Can you take off that mask or that, that costume that you wear every day when you leave your home into you know corporate America or your job or whatever the case may be and come home and just be you and feel accepted and not judged and not criticized. Maybe that involves you being your wacky, goofy, crazy self, which I know I am, <laughs> and not feel judged. And they can actually match that energy with you as well. That builds trust, consistency, congruency, right? It's not about these big grandiose gestures that you have to do in order to make that person trust you. It's the little things. 
It's it's the waking up in the morning and kissing them on the forehead and forehead and telling them that you love them. It's about waking up in the morning and maybe leaving a note on the refrigerator before you leave the house. It's these little tiny micro things that you do that over time help your partner to A, fall in love with you and B, really trust in you because they see your character and they see who you are based on your actions. The fourth thing is having a sense of independence within the relationship, right? You being able to be yourself, your autonomous, independent, individual self. Now, that gets a little bit tricky, right? Because nowadays I think there are, there's, um, there's polarity in the way people view this. When you are in a relationship with somebody, there is a belief that it is now a unit and it's not two individuals. But the truth is you are still your own person with your own thoughts, your own beliefs, your own feelings. But how do you incorporate those things into the relationship and how do you create an environment where you're able to be yourself, but you're also able to prioritize your partner's feelings and thoughts as well? This is where compromise comes into play. This is where communication comes into play. This is where trust comes into play. So being able to feel like you can still go out and hang out with your friends without being guilty that your partner is left at home alone. That's why it's so important to have a sense of independence because if you go and do your own thing, the expectation would be that your partner goes and does their own thing or they're perfectly content and fine with staying home and again, doing their own thing. If there is a lack of independence within the relationship, we have a tendency of getting into codependency territory and that can get a little bit tricky. You know, there's different forms of codependency. There's anxious attached style, there's avoidant, there is a secure attached style. There's so many different layers to it that we want to try to avoid becoming needy and clingy and codependent and all of those things because really what it does is it just sucks the life out of the relationship and it sucks the energy out of your partner. And the last thing here is accountability taking accountability within the relationship. It is so important to be able to recognize when you've made a mistake and express that. Apologize. Say you're sorry if you did something wrong. Now, it's not about overly apologizing. It's just about being self-aware. And if this is something that you struggle with, I'm gonna put a link in the description box down below for two trainings that I think would be incredibly beneficial for you, which is the communication training and the self-awareness training. Two things that are absolutely bar none important in having a healthy relationship. So if that is something that you struggle with, you, I'm providing you guys with the perfect tools to be able to navigate it and to be able to, to succeed within your relationship. Now, if you just feel like you need a little bit more help, you feel like you need a little bit more assistance, I am more than happy to have a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with you and, and come up with something specific to you, to your situation. So I will also put a link in the description box down below to the coaching section of our website so that you can just click on, get on that, go directly to the page and book your session right now so that you can start to change the dynamic of your relationship or if you just have general questions and you're not 100% sure if you are in a healthy relationship or not in a healthy relationship, I'm more than happy to work through that with you and any, answer any questions that you may have. Maybe you just wanna know a little bit more. Um, maybe you want some more information. You can visit us at www.happilycommitted.com where we have articles and blogs and videos all at your fingertips. And do not forget to leave a comment anything that you want to say, any questions that you may have. If you like the video, if there's certain things that you feel may have been left out, please let me know. I read as many of the comments as I possibly can. I answer to as many, I answer as many of them as I can. Um, and I just like to interact with you guys, right? This is your channel. This is your community. We made this for you. So your thoughts and your words matter. Again, my name is Danny. I'm your life and relationship coach. I hope you guys are staying happy and healthy, and I'll see you guys in the next video.